Oh my god. I cannot hit this thing. Come on. Oh, it's right on top of me. All right, spam it. Spam it. All right, let's find out what happens. Oh, we got twins. Oh, look at the baby. Baby Bikitos. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Prometheus Reborn, having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, guys, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Me personally, I'm doing pretty amazing. Yeah, I've been uh, out for probably a couple hours harvesting, getting all my metal up. I don't know what it is. I keep running out of metal, but uh, I am just so very excited about our new Chrome Gorilla. Yeah, it's the Tech Megapithecus that we got last time. And I told you guys today I would try and upgrade it to power. It didn't look like it's that expensive. I have a magic potion already. But this Prome Core, yeah, I it, it's deceiving. It looks like, oh, that's not a big deal, right? So I went to go and try and craft this thing, and then I saw it, and um, it takes 100 Prome Crystals. I'm like, what the crap's a Prome Crystal? I got a couple of them. I think I got it from uh, Battling Dinos, but apparently, and it came back to me when I saw this, it's actually the Prome food, that meat that we've been crafting, we're always short on. When it spoils, this is what it turns into. You know, on top of potentially, uh, and there's our power thing, on top of potentially uh, getting it from battling creatures. Well, that prone food's not cheap. So, um, yeah, for that, I mean, it's not horrid. We might be able to do it. In fact, I think I can, but we got to wait for it to spoil. And that that might be the worst part. So, I mean, let's just see. So, uh, again, let's go into the food thing. Let's see if we can craft. I just made a whole bunch of soups. All right, we got enough crafts for it. Wait, what's going on? Huh? What the crap? Why is this not crafting right now? That's so weird. Huh? Craft one. You can only craft one at a time? Are you kidding me? I mean, this is brutal. Oh, that's why it has it in the dine. I get it now. I get why they have this in the dinos. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see a lot of the dinos that have it, and you're like, why? Why? I'm guessing it crafts faster when I put it in here. Hopefully, it doesn't eat the stuff, though. That's okay. Okay, we got this. All right, we know what we're doing. But again, we got to wait for this to spoil. So that may not happen today, but at least we'll be prepped and hopefully come tomorrow. I'm going to have to like split all of it so that it all spoils. But either way, I think we're going to have a pretty epic day today. Froggy Man will not be joining us. He had to uh, he had to go. He's having some health issues right now. So he uh, is having unexpected doctor's visits and stuff like that that uh, he has to deal with. But that's OK. We'll get all prepped. And if we can, I'll even craft enough for him. Yes, him too, so that it can be spoiled in time. But either way, I think it should be an epic day. Um, let's look and see if we can maybe speed up getting the prone crystals by like battling stuff. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. There's a couple of really good shinies on the map too to help us out with potential breeding to get our creatures better. So I think that should be epic. But guys, please remember if you're enjoying the series to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the Discord linked in the description. And if you are a YouTube member, yes, we have YouTube memberships now. We have now the sub server that is up, the member server. And uh, yeah, you can play along with us. Froggy did. Holy crap. He's been a little busy bee. He, he does pop on when I'm not here. But um, I don't know. Maybe he's got his food all set and ready anyway. Um, either way, let's grab a couple golden treats because the shinies that I wanted to snag up... Um, in particular, we're from the uh, AG Reborn mod. And um, the, sh the, the special kibble here that I just got, I believe only works on the AG Reborn. But the shinies from that mod, unfortunately, they're always going to be bad. The, the max shiny level for AG Reborn is 700. The max for the Prometheus mod is only going to be 350. Yeah, so it's just one of those things. Anyway, wish me luck, guys. I'm going to head over to the first shiny that piqued my interest. 
All right, first shiny should be just right up ahead. Um, it's what the shiny finder says. And let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can find it. It's something I've been looking for. Yes, for a while. I want to be able to breed the griffin that we're on currently. And it's on the ground now. We kind of got to hurry. Um, you're old and pick it up. The, di the guys can see my dinos. They just can't see me because of the special armor I'm wearing, which again, if you don't know, prime camouflage armor, you know, it looks like ghillie armor. All right, well, let's hurry up here. It should be super easy if I can get it right. There we go. And this is important. This is a male griffin. I've been looking for a male griffin for a while. We have a female already. So yes, this should be pretty epic. 126. We got a boost in melee, too. We needed that, guys. Um, all right. There's a couple of other shinies, too, that I wanted to check out if uh, we can finish up our pair. So let's hop back on the other one on Rocket. And let me just go while we have the kibble in my hand. Let's go scout them out real quick. Oh, guys, this is perfect. I wasn't even, like, looking for this. It doesn't show up in the shiny finder because it's not as shiny. But remember, we needed an, a female alpha theory. Um, yeah, we got one. It's we just tamed the griffin right there. As I was flying over this way, I saw it. So let's go see if we can snag that one too. All right. Pick up and hopefully nobody sees us. We should. We should be invisible to everything. All right, come on, come on. Oh god, there's a lot of scariness, dude. That is so cool. Um, where'd it go? Okay. All right, to here. Come here, buddy, bro. Let me get you. I need you. Yo. All right. Awesome. Dude, these gold treats are so good. Again, if you are playing, if you are playing any of these mods, you must get a golden dodo so you can get these golden treats. That's how we're getting all the insta tames. You don't see me, right? All right. All right. We're, we're okay. Jeez. There's so many bad things here. It's not, not the safe place. All right. Let's move on to the next. Holy crap. Jeez, I just can't get out of this area. There's too many good things. This was a, this one is a shiny, but it's not what I was looking for either. But um, you know how I've always been? I keep being low on metal, and I'm just curious if maybe an Anklo would do better. I think Froggy has an Anklo, in which case maybe we could use this one to breed with his. I don't know what his gender is, but this is a good one. So let's snag it. All right. My goodness, we're going to have a lot of things to name for next episode. Holy crap. What's that? Three tames already? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Maybe I should turn back now before I just tame every stinking dino on the map. Dude, look at this guy. Holy crap. Um, You know, this might be a good thing. Let's see if we get prone food from this. Come here. Oh, totally whiffed there. All right, let's back up. And... Oh my goodness, you're a bit more powerful than I thought. Come on. All right. Let's also put back in this. Gives me my extra movement speed boost. All right, come on. Dude, he already regen all of his health. All right. Keep on going. Keep on going. All right. Jeez. And... Yeah, part of the problem is they just heal so fast. Now, I almost remember a giga like this where the moves were just so insane from doing that, but I wasn't getting hit by that, so that's kind of cool. All right. That gave us four of the prome crystal. Dude, we're going to have to grind so hard if we want to do it this way. So, I mean, even if that's... I guess it's not that bad. We'd have to get, like, 25 kills of that to get 100. I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad. What's going on over here? What is this? That looks like it might be a summoning thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little obelisk door there. All right. Whoa. What the crap is happening? I hope I did not crash. I might have crashed. I th oh, okay. It might have been a cave loading or something. All right. Stay away from there. Jeezy Pete's. We might still have some random overspawns. 
That could be what's going on there. When a cave loads, that's like loaded with like dinos or something. It can cause crazy lag. That's why a lot of maps will have lag spikes as you're like going somewhere. And then all of a sudden, every time when you cross this certain area, it just like gets super laggy. It's, uh, you know, and it just freezes for a second. That's usually because there's like a cave or something that loads in that, uh, you know, has like hundreds, if not thousands of dinos in it. And it's like all of a sudden they just all load in at once. But anywho, in fact, we haven't been over here. Let's just peek real quick. We've not been over here since. I want to see if the overspawn here is fixed. Dude, what is that? What are you? El Diablo. Wow, that is so cool looking. Froggy warned me to like be careful. Some of these guys, like, they'll do a move even from really far away and it will like freeze you or something. Albino prone gorilla. See, that would be so cool. But as I told you, 350 is the max for any of the prone shinies. So, a little unfortunate. I might go through and block every prone dino from becoming shiny because it does kind of kill the spawning. You know, every time there's a shiny one there. Savage tier. Oh, yeah. This was what Froggy said. Steer clear of this. But that would definitely unlock stuff. The savage. That's what you... Like, the bosses you want to work towards for unlocking things. All right. Fair enough. Fair e Oh, my goodness. What are you... There's so many pretty things. World boss. The world... All right. Uh, let's get out of here. This is, this is a little above my pay grade. Yikes. Ooh. Holy crap. That's a boss too. Get, get, get. Talk over the music. Oh my goodness. You know, if there is another prone gorilla, we could also try for that to see if we can breed him. Oh, that would be cool too. But, um, all right. I'll meet you guys back at the base. All right. We are back at the base and let's check out this finish. Oh dude, there's only 98 in there. What happened? It, it might've ate some of them. I don't know. That's very, very possible that he ate a couple of them. And that's the risky play of doing that. But, um, all right, for now, why don't we take this prone food? Let's put it in here. And then let's start to split it. You know what? I'm curious if this would, uh, in our, in the froggy Mac, this, this station right here. No, it doesn't look like it's doing it. That's a meat spoiler. I wonder if there's a meat spoiler from like within the mod. I don't know. Um, can I split? I can split them in my own inventory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That sounded really, really, really close to where we are. You heard that roar? Oh, God. What is going on? This is so bad. All right, let me... Uh, I got to pick up some of these guys just in case there actually is something right here. I don't know if when, like, it shows you when, when something spawned in. Okay, this is our better one, Rocket. You know, it shows you, but I think you have to be within a certain distance. I, I really don't know for sure. But it's quite possible. All right, I don't see anything right here. You know, I didn't know if we're in, like, in range of it doing it, or just if it spawned anywhere on the map, it will, like, make that sound. Let's just inspect. Because we've had some pretty sketchy stuff here. In the way, at least for within the pro mod, I think that's from the AG Reborn mod. In the pro mod, um, hypothetically, we could get, you know, really bad stuff spawning and literally anywhere. So, yeah. Okay. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and start to set up the griffin spawning. This is what I'm really excited about. More than anything is these griffins. So, let's go plop them down. Let's hope that they actually breed. All right, behavior, enable. Where is it? Where the crap did it go? And I see wandering. I don't see mating. What the crap? Behavior, enable. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I got to do a wander one. All right, I'll, I'll inspect this a little bit more. Um, we definitely should be able to breed these, especially if I did the propagator. Um, we have this here, so why don't I just hitch them and put them on wander? So hitch dinos. We'll hitch both of those. Remember back in the day, it used to be everything was on wander? So nice when they added in, you know, breeding without having to be on wander. 
All right. Is that working? I don't see anything going. Crap. I think they're set up to not be able to breed. It's got to be, right? It's got to be. No! All right, that's okay. Let's go ahead, do the next step. I didn't want to get into this today, but we have already unlocked from stuff the replicator. All right, so let's make ourselves a replicator. I'm pretty sure we have to do it. Either way, I'm going to want this, but okay. And then in said replicator, let's go ahead and set it down. Look at that nice little cute guy. I love that you can make him smaller. Okay, next, let's go propagator. All right, and oh crap. I don't have electronics for that. Oh no. Um, all right. Looks like we got to craft some other stuff, but that is a breeding machine essentially. So we can use that to, uh, to breed these guys. So yeah, fair, fair enough. All right. What feels like a million years later, we have our tooth. I hope that's all we needed. 2000 plus element. So now propagator. Let's see if we can pull this now. Beautiful. And we got it. Turn off. All right. Awesome. So let's, uh, it's not guaranteed these guys are going to work in the propagator, but let's at least, uh, let's at least do the first one. I am not, this is a process. Even with the propagator, it takes a long time to get everything perfect. The propagator, it's kind of big. It's not like too overly big. Um, ugh. You know, we really don't need these guys here anymore. I also got to get working on my base. That is uh, utmost. We got to look around to see where we want to live on the map. I always hate that I don't always have the time to go through and uh, check all this stuff. Or, you know, go pick out everything. Because I want to make these videos for you guys. All right. Um, Can we turn you? There we go. All right. Propagator. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to throw in our male and female. We need to put element, which we have loads of. Look at that from uh, the crop plots. Beautiful. Let's go ahead, toss in our element. And doesn't really matter which one you do first. I usually do the male first. Um, prepare dinos for breeding. Start breeding. Um, and since these guys normally can't breed, it looks like we're going to check this box, which makes it so that they can breed. Now we're going to do, and it cost an element, an extra element on top of, so I, I believe it's like an element to breed plus whatever extras you want. And in our case, we have two extras. Now I'm not going to worry about the mutation pulse yet. I just want to get the best stats from both ones. So we're going to say start and now we just wait. It takes basically as long as it would to breed normally. So let me hang out for a little bit and uh, see if we can get some eggs. All right. I let this go for a while um, until I was able to get two of them. This one's essentially identical to the male, but it's a female version of it, which is cool. And the only stats that the female has that are better are the weight and the food, which don't really matter. But uh, if I wanted to get the highest level possible, this would be it. So this one, the only thing this one's missing is the melee. And then this one's missing the weight and the food. So, and there are male and female. So why don't we take those two? We're going to pop them over into here. Let's go ahead and set this uh, options automation. I had turned the fertil uh, fertilizer thing off for a little bit. These are leftover eggs from when we're taming the snake. I'm going to probably just throw all those away. I mean, essentially, those are good eggs, but, you know, just saying. All right, we got to wait for those to incubate, and then we can redo this. Why don't I grab... Normally, I make... I don't know if I can... If I have it unlocked yet. Let's see. There we go. There it is. All right, definitely can afford that. So, let's go ahead and craft up an incinerator. So, INC. Beautiful. And this way, you can just... It's a way to dispose of the eggs that's quick. Because unfortunately, if you you could eat them, but if you tried to eat them all, uh, what ends up happening is every time it's like, are you sure? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm sure. Whereas this way, I can just go take them all and then plop them into the incinerator. 
Beautiful. And then they just, it just deletes them. All right. So by now, hopefully these have been incubated. Awesome. Let's go over by the ACs. Let's pop them in. All right. And six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Yeah. All right. So far, so good. All right. And there we go. There's our two babies. Let's take them out. Let's then, uh, you can't breed when they're like that. So you got to actually toss them back out again. Okay. And then pick them back up. So now they're adults. And then I can take them back in here. Let's plop in. Boom, boom. Remove the initial parents. Prepare dinos for breeding. And start breeding. All right. So now... We only have basically one stat that we're we're passing that we care about because both of them have the exact same oxygen. Doesn't matter. So we're looking pretty good. It's it's really going this way. Just one stat that we have to pass. So, all right, here's to that. Let's get that done. All right, this one took a bit longer, but I was able to get to a male and a female. Nine thirty nine. That is. The perfect amongst both the parents and i got one mutation which was actually a good one in the uh, melee stat however i don't want to waste a mutation on only getting plus two so we're gonna hold off on that one we'll we'll still take it we'll still probably actually hatch it but i don't want to actually take let's see eggs boom I don't want to waste that one mutation on just a plus two because i'll show you I don't think I'm going to go max these guys out today because, again, it takes a while. But I'll show you how to do it, at least the first step of it, if you don't know, for those of you that don't know the propagator. All right, so these two are now, they're they were just being used to get to the point that we are now. So we're probably going to destroy them. But I'll throw them in there for now. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead... We just let's just hatch these two for now. But this one is our best currently, but you'll see why I don't want to do that. All right, toss them out. Let's get those eggs going. And three, two, one. Boom. Awesome. All right, so they're grow. Well, they're hatched. Let's grab the two babies just like before. Let's take them. Let's toss them back out. Boom and boom. Okay, let's pick him back up. And now that we have the top stats that we want between the two of them, now that, that's basically finished. Now it's working on mutations. So let's go ahead, toss these two in here, prepare for breeding. And this is where it starts to also get a lot more costly. So we've got to do every time, add that so they can breed, because normally they can't. Then you can do up to five mutation pulses in this machine which is kind of cool because the other way of doing it before this propagator existed um we haven't unlocked that yet that's later down the tech tree with the mutators but here we can just do it here this is the best way and what's also cool about this machine if you have two males or two females you can actually change the gender of one of them it just costs more element so start breeding and by the way when this does five pulses since a normal vanilla mutation is two this will actually give it, with that, it's 5 times 2, it'll give you plus 10. And you're limited to the number of mutations. I mean, depending on how you want to do it, this machine actually doesn't limit you. But in vanilla, you only get 20 mutations on either side, and then it's maxed out. So that's why we didn't want to waste that only a plus 2 for a mutation, when we could be getting a plus 10. So anyway, I'm going to leave these guys going. Now, this is going to cost me each uh, mutation pulse cost, I think, an element plus the force to breed plus the initial cost. And as you can see, that's a waste. This was like, uh, I don't know, like at least seven element, five, six, seven plus, I think it might even be like eight element per egg. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So um yeah, you want to make sure you have plenty of element. Anyway, I'm going to keep on doing this. The stats that I care about basically are going to be health, stamina, stamina, and melee. And um, I'm going to focus mostly on melee, at least for this. And we'll, throughout the season, breed this guy higher and higher. But anyway, I'll see you at the uh, next or final 
melee that I'm going to do for the day. But it's just a rinse and repeat. Oh my goodness! I I swear. Um, so I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Update. These are our two newest parent griffins. And uh, yeah, we're just about max attack. I've been doing this for hours. I don't know why I just have this urge that once I start it, I have to get it like at least in a single stat complete before I can stop. So we're about to be at that point. Really cool mutations. But when I started this video, I just ate breakfast. It is now dinner time. Yeah, it took me all stinking day to do this, but really, really cool, interesting mutations. But uh, it brings us to this spot where just to show you, we now have two males and I've been doing this. Look at look at the mutations. You're supposed to be limited to 20. I have 1,984. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot. So anyway. Getting to this final one, we have two different things that I haven't shown yet. One is when you have two of the same gender, how to get them to breed. And then two, as I told you, doing five boosts, it brings it up by 10. So right now we're at 246. We want to get to as close as we can to 255 without going over. 10 would bring us to 256. That's too many. It rolls back over. That would be equivalent to having like a two in melee, which is not what we want. So to fix this, all we got to do, first of all, we'll take one, make it a female, make it so they can breed. Instead of doing five boosts, we're just going to do four boosts. I think that should do it. I think, I think, if my math's right. So it starts. Oh, what the crap. Oh, it's a stupid storm. All right. So they're breeding. So is that right? Yeah, so that would be, so this would give us eight and that would bring us to 244, or 254, I mean, instead of 256. So that is literally the closest you can get, 254, because if you get it to 255, the game will not let you put extra levels into your guy. So right there, we have it, boom. That is the perfect one. We still have to do more breeding to get our health up, get our stamina up, but this is literally the highest you can get in attack possible. Like possible. If you got 255, you can't do extra boosts after the fact. Ah, that's the one thing about this map. I wish no maps had these electrical sandstorm type things. It's so stupid. Look at all my fridges, unpowered, unpowered. It's so annoying. All right, anyway, let's wait for that next egg. And this one, boom, look at this. We got our very first one. I'm curious, what colors are we going to get? Look at all that purple in there. Oh, crap, we got to wait. This it's unpowered, dang it. We got to wait till the storm's over. Finally, stupid storm has ended. That took forever. Let's go ahead, pop that out. Oh, it looks like a cool one. It looks like a cool one. All right, and bada boom. Our very first, wow, look at the colors. That is insane, totally. I love it. All right, so next is to get the Griffin saddle. Where do I have that? Uh, is it still, is that the Griffin one? Yeah, there we go. Boom and boom. So saddles being made for that one in the time it took for the storm. Luckily, this continues to go. Um, let's see here. No, 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 no. Still waiting for the other one. I'd like to get a second one popped out just for breeding purposes. So I'll let that continue to go. But, uh, yes, we now have our best Griffin. Let's go find out what it hits for. I'm so excited to see. All right. Boom. Let's, of course, put on this and this level up counter. All right, and then this will give it the boost in movement speed. All right, so let's find out what is its first hits going to be. 25,000. Let's see, they might have had meat boost. 25,000. All right, that might be it, but I think that's pretty good because I think originally it was like, what, like 8,000? That's pretty high. 17,000. Come on, we're more peeps. We're more peeps. Oh, and then also on top of that, this is our first time having imprinting. That's a huge boost. 
This thing is going to be monstrous, guys. I just... Primarily, I want to get the health up more, but we'll work on that. It's going to take me another probably like six hours. And that's doing it fast. That's with like fast rates. Otherwise, this would take you in like vanilla vanilla stats months, if not years. That is so good. Look at that dive. 75,000 to start. Holy crap, is this going to be good. All right, so I'm going to wait for uh, a second one to pop out, and then I want to turn off that machine, because holy crap, is this expensive. Good God, you're going to be monstrous. And then we have to look for something. I know I still have other guys to breed. I still have... Oh, breeding just takes so long. It's so worth it, but I've, I've maxed out on what I can do today. So let's just get a saddle for a theory, and then also our... Anki. Beautiful. All right. We have a saddle for Anklo. Beautiful. We can try him out shortly over at the volcano. If not today, tomorrow. And then we also have the saddle for this dude. There you go, Theory. Very nice. Um, We've got the egg. It finally, finally happened. Let's go ahead, hatch it. This is for to have a, you know, breeding partner. I don't know if it's the same gender or not, but it, as you can see, it, the gender doesn't matter for us now since we have the propagator. And, ooh, interesting colors. All right, beautiful. This is our other one. We got a weird mutation. This one, I think, did it have brown? Ew. I like the belly and everything, though. That's pr It's interesting. I'll give it that. All right. Um, oh, where's the saddle? I made it. I didn't grab it. All right. These are our two new ones. Beautiful. And then once we start breeding for health, uh, that's what we'll use along with it. Very cool. Um, the next thing I wanted to do, um, I think we should have now. Let's see. Clone. Yes, finally, we're of the level that we can make these cloner things. This is part of the HG mod. And uh, here's here's the deal. This is what I wanted to try. And that is to find out if we can breed the Prome Gorilla. Because before I go hunting for more, we got to find out if it's possible to breed them. Um, let's go ahead and do the cloner in it. Boom. And where's the clone? Oh, I think it's like inside of them almost. All right. So we have a clone now. Yep. Look at that. Now, here's the neat thing about the propagator. I can go in here. Normally, you can't breed with clones, but I can go take these two. Say, prepare dinos for breeding. Start breeding. Um, we'll do no mutations right now. Let's make the clone the... Uh, no, let's make that one the male. That'll cost one element. And it looks like they can breed by default. I don't remember if I check those, but anyway... All right, let's just give it a moment, see if we get an egg. And did I get lucky with... Let me see, that's a male. Let's just see out here. You are a female. Hey! And we also got lucky on this. I will. We have male and female griffins. So quite cool. Let's just look at them side by side. Yeah, that's really neat. That's really neat. This one, it's kind of like fake looking just because of all the insane like really really like highlighter colors on it this one looks a little more natural maybe you gotta remember we have the spotlights on it so it makes it uh more not dull whatever that's called it's very bright very saturated so you can't even like see the fur that like you can see there are, in this case feathers isn't that weird, though, how colors do that? That's why it's so hard to make thumbnails sometimes, I tell you. All right, so carrying on. Did we get an egg yet? Yes, we got our very first egg. All right, we weren't trying to breed for stats or anything, so I'm going to stop breeding right now. And this is cool because I wanted to see if we can get the stats better before we upgraded them. You know, that, that would definitely be an ideal thing. Because this guy does not have the most phenomenal stats. But we can make him that way via breeding. All right, there's our egg. Let's just see our baby gorilla. We'll only see it for a split second. Or actually, if I can hurry and pull this out. 
All right, let's find out what happens. Oh, we got twins. Oh, look at the baby. Baby Bikitos. Baby gorillas. That is very cute. Wow, I like that. That is quite adorable. All right, so we got two more. I can also pick them up like this and then throw them back out. And we got two females. Bada boom. Bada boom. That is pretty nifty. I like it. All right, so breeding of those guys is not going to be a problem, which means we can get the stats way better, which we we may want to do. But yeah, kind of kind of a neat little thing. Um, anyway, is this the original? Yeah, that's the original. I'm going to take it out. All right, cool. Next up, why don't we try and max out the stats, or at least uh, level up our griffin while I go and look for something cool and new to tame and battle more prone guys to try and hurry up getting all those crystals. Holy crap, this is insane. This griffin is so strong. Look at that. I'm dying, like, our original one was getting, like, one, what was it, 112, or maybe, maybe, I'll give, I'll say 120, maybe, maybe, um, that was, what, 250 almost, and look at how many more levels we have to go, this is gonna be insane, all right, and here it is, one, two, three, four, five, um, I'm gonna put all the other levels for now into health, again, this is just a midway point. Uh, we're going to breed again to make this even better, but we are now maxed out. It should heal up. You know what? I'm just going to use my healing potion. Should wait, but I want to make you guys wait. All right. So now maxed out. What is this guy going to hit for? Watch. I'm going to miss. It's going to be embarrassing. Just watch. Oh, four. <laughs> this thing is nuts. See how much breeding is worth it. Holy crap, if you got the time, you can make stuff so strong. Good lord. All right, but again, that's with a dive. But let's see, the normal hit. That's still pretty impressive. And flame, not bad. And this move, which looks cool, but really isn't all that strong. Wow, I really wish that was stronger. But um, yes, this is an epic griffin i'm so happy to have it i mean we might might be approaching like some serious boss killing uh territory um i should probably go back and hatch out a couple more eggs with this or at least one is a backup and then we could attempt to try a boss with it i don't know dude bone dragon that is epic looking what is this guy prone chief all right i'm just curious it might be really dumb. And that dragon's probably going to die. But it's going to die to this guy anyway. Please don't kill me. Oh, we did half its health in a single hit. What? Done. Done. Did you see that? Oh, it gave us... Look at this. Nanotech? Are you kidding me? Epic. That, of course, we didn't get the jetpack, though. I'm um, a little disappointed it, it didn't give us... Uh, dude. It didn't give us uh, any of the food things. This guy, uh, pretty decent level. I don't know. It's only one... Pro oh, God. Should we try it? It's so weird looking. Um, It's got a lot of... Uh, health though it's gonna be a pain in the butt being a flyer all right let's just see i made up a lot of arrows come on buddy i wonder if i don't think i could net this guy come here we gotta remember i haven't boosted to crazy health yet oh oh it makes him land oh <gasps> dude this is epic holy crap these arrows are so good no 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 I hopefully it's not. Uh, I think it's already afraid of me. Maybe. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get now. But look at the torpor still rising. Oh, 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 it's knocked out. What? Please don't be going to hit him. Please. No, 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 no. Is, is he? I can't tell if he's. You jerk face. He's ruining our team, I think. You 
little turd. What a little turd. Perm turtle, get out. I don't see like a damage meter. All right, we can look to see if it actually hurt him. All right, what is it? This one, tame groups, taming list. You little turd nugget. We got to wait for him to wake up. All right, that's okay though. While while we're waiting, let's teleport back home. This will be our tame for today. Um, or at least likely the thumbnail tame. Because we've already got everything else that we tamed, other than the Anklo. All right. Or I could go for a higher level dragon. I don't know if we're going to find one, but... All right. Let's go ahead, grab out this. Beautiful. Let's teleport back. You know what, though? <laughs> I'm just realizing this. Uh... They say that if something only takes one food to tame, it doesn't matter if it gets hit. This would be an interesting guy to test that on. So 468 is the level. Let's put in the one food. All right. And I'm going to have to do the math on, on what that is. But if we did it 460, uh, let me do it right now. So I think the math would be, what was it? 468 times 1.5. Okay, so it should have been a 702. And it's not a 702. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that actually is correct. People say that, and I always say that, but in our case, I'm pretty sure that's not correct. Oh, that, that kind of sucks. Either way, I'll make a good thumbnail. Stupid turtle. All right, turtle deserves to die for that. You little turd nugget. Ooh, we did get prone crystals, though. Dude, this griffin is so incredible now. All right, let me see if I can find a better one. All right, I couldn't find... I was looking for a prone bone dragon, but I found just a straight prone dragon. This actually could be kind of interesting. Um, let's see if this guy's is easy to knock out. I don't know. Come on, it's knocking down trees everywhere. I definitely whiffed there. Come on, dude. Remember, once we hit him... Where is he? Once we hit him, he should get shocked. Oh, these stupid grenaders. What's he fighting with? Definitely want this grenader dead. Where's the grenade? This is a bad area, just in general. Dude, what the crap. Uh, I gotta be careful. Dude, one shot the brood mother. Are you kidding me? This is so epic. All right, we got a tear bird here. Let's get rid of you. I think that was tear bird. I don't know. All right. I hear sound. Whoa, mama. All right, let's see if we can get, get this guy done. Dude, you're going to kill my dragon. So annoying. All right, stay away from... Dude, look at how quickly the chiefs go. All right, let's try and do this real quick. Oh, come here, dragon. Why is it so hard to hit flying things? Uh, whiffed. Oh my god. I cannot hit this thing. Come on. Oh, it's right on top of me. All right. Spam it. Spam it. Spam it. Spam. Oh, crap. Where are you going? Where are you going? Turn, turn, turn. Yo. All right. All right. That might be enough. These arrows are so good. Um... It looks like it. No, it's still going up. All right. All right. We smashed it again. I'm so worried that little. Oh, God. Can we just get off? Come on. Oh. All right. All right. Yes. It's out. It's out. All right. Put in the food. Put in the food. Put in the food. Yes. All right. This one. Yeah. This is what the other one should have looked like. 700 something epic Ooh, it's this all right that's junk all right let's get the crap out of here i was really risky to do that 
Dude, this brood mother, you're so loud. I'm gonna kill it. I gotta find where it is. We gotta smash him. All right, <laughs> look at the level. I think we can do it though, I hope. Come on, come on. This should give us, I would assume, more nano armor. The chiefs or the bosses. Not tameable, notice. All right, and... Oh, smashed. Okay, this one gave us crystals. All right, cool. Hey, we are on our way, guys. Let's head back to the base. Let's admire our new tames. Ooh, I thought I should cut it and show you this. I just killed an Indom, and look at that. It dropped an egg. We got our very first egg. That is so cool. And this, this I think, is a fertilized. Look at that. 580 snow indom fertilized. All right. I don't know if I want to hatch it yet, but just, just for record, we have it. We got it. That is crazy cool. Get out of here, horse. Oh, that's a unicorn. All right. All right. So we golden there. Let's go see. What Do, do we have a dragon saddle? Let's see, dragon, we do. Very nice. All right, we can upgrade it more later. I'm gonna make a secondary dragon saddle. What does this guy cost? They're pricey, man. They are definitely pricey for a bone dragon. Assuming, assuming they take the same exact saddle. All right, epic. Let's take a look at them side by side. Move out of the way, guys. All right, and I'm curious too, what's better, the bone? I, I would assume the normal ones are, but I really don't know. They are certainly cool looking though. Wow. So they're probably gonna be, uh, I mean, this this guy is a similar class to what our Mega P is that we got yesterday. The bones, I have no idea. Are they a class below or are they equal? Don't know. Doesn't look like you can upgrade that one, whereas this guy can be upgraded to flame, lightning, poison, or power. I think power is usually the best, but there's reasons for all of them. 13,000, not bad. Ooh, look at that move. That's crazy. Can I aim that? It's so hard to aim. Come on, just kill the guy. I have no clue. All right, no C, no X, no R. All right. Let's see, when we're in the air. All right, that might be easier to aim. Oh, this guy's cool. All right, we got a pack of wolves. Let's see if we can hit them. Come on, don't don't be a nothing move. I, oh, we finally hit one. Why is that so hard? You have to like aim exactly. That's so dumb. There we go. It hits strong, though. It's probably easier to hit bigger things. And then... You know what? The right... Dude, that did that do more? I don't know. I think the C and the right click are the exact same. Let's see. That's right click. No, they're different. They are definitely different. It's hard to tell. Let me go in K mode so you can actually see. That's one. Oh, no. No, no. They might be the same. One of them looks like it was coming, like, out of the side. But I think it's the same. All right. So that's this guy. Can fly backwards naturally. It's cool. Again, we want to make it into upgrade it before it gets really good. And we haven't put levels into him yet. Definitely a looker. And then the bone one... Dude, is it the exact same thing? Just It might be the exact same thing. This is a lower level one, but it's pretty strong. Considering how many what the difference in level is. Is that a trilobite? What are you doing there, bro? Yeah, they're cool. They take the both the same saddle. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they're the same thing, except different luck. And one you can upgrade, one you can't, but. That's not confirmed. Either way, I love our new dragons. We'll have to try them out more next time. But hey, we got a lot done today. We caught a lot of breeding. We got a lot of creatures. And we caught, most importantly, our most epic alpha griffins. Yeah, anyway, I th and we cloned, cloned and bred our, uh, 
our prime gr so much anyway it was an epic day but on that note let me go through those comments all right guys i just finished going through the comments and yes it is now that time that's right Time to name the dinos! For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right, just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and yeah, just comment down below. It's just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have just one to name. Yeah, our amazing Prome Gorilla. And uh, I'd say there's a lot of epic names. There is a lot of epic uh, throwback names as well. But remember... We are going to have loads, loads of these this season. And some of the names, sometimes you may think, d -Mac, I had such an epic name. Why did you not choose my epic name? It was so much better than the one you chose. You got to remember, guys, sometimes I want to save those names for when they're much more powerful. For the later versions, the upgrades, the evolutions. One of those names normally would be like Bikido or King Daddy Kong or one of those. I don't want to save that for a first tier guy. I want to wait till we get to the top evolutions of them. So for this one, I ended up going with none other than Basher. I love it. Sweet, simple, to the point. This is a complete and utter basher of everything. So I think it should be pretty cool. Once we evolve them, we'll probably get a new name. But uh, yes, for next episode, we have loads and loads of new guys. By the way, I already popped out another egg while I was going through the comments. Got to work on that health next. But um, yes, all these creatures will get names next episode. And if there's any others that I got and I, I forgot about, you can leave a name for him too, and uh, I'll do my best to name him. But yes, we have the Prome Bone Dragon, the Alpha Anki, the Alpha Theory, the normal Prome Dragon or Tech Dragon, and then our best male and female Griffin. So help me out in the comments below. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as you always do. Please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. I do hang out in there daily. Yes, I do talk in there. And, um... If you want to also get a server to play on, remember, we got the member server. It just launched this uh, this last weekend. So, yeah, very fresh, very new, epic place to play. All right, guys. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again. And as always, peace out.